well as tablets at that time. Now the key thing around Migo is how we architected it to be uh, centralized around the individual using the device. Not only how they interact with the device, what we expect them to do with the device, but also uh, updating and learning as they use the device. And so the concepts we built in Amigo are really centralized around the user, focusing on them as opposed to the traditional way, which is focused around applications. And so that's the key difference between what we've done, and specifically in the tablets, you'll see that in the handsets as well, we carry forward, is focusing on the user themselves. So let me, um, uh, well, let me just go ahead and demonstrate it. I can go through folders, but I can demonstrate what we've done here. And so you have your traditional grid environment that a lot of people are used to seeing. I know it's turned sideways, but I'm going to go to the panel environment, which is more intuitive. So you'll give the user that panel view or the, uh, with the grid of applications, but we think that uh, users are going to demand more sophisticated interface that organizes their life how they operate. And so we've uh, instrumented the tablet into what's called the panel view, which organizes the uh, interactions with the tablet into topic areas. My tablet has the applications that you uh, use most. It has setting capabilities. My friends contains all your social networking. So this includes things like emails that are important to you, uh, Twitters, Last.fm, all your social feeds are in that panel. And the clever thing about this device is it learns as you use it. So if you don't read emails from certain people, you don't follow certain um, tweets from people, it learns and it puts the ones that are most important to you and it learns about you at the top so that you can get access and see right away the ones that are most critical to you. Each one of these panels is independent. So they're live feeds and they're independent and you can operate them independently. And so you have your music, your photos, your videos, and the web pages you've most recently accessed. All these uh, feeds are live so you can update these uh, as uh, it, it, it learns about what you're doing. And so if you just, Interact with photos, again, it's a traditional photo viewer that you expect to see uh, on a device. One of the things that we've um, instituted in Migo is the object-oriented nature of it. And so not only do you interact with the application, but we also incorporate an object-oriented uh, mechanism which is almost like a right mouse click, where you touch on the, uh, the, the event and it gives you options of things you can do. Whether you want to forward it to somebody, put it in your favorites, add it to an album. You interact with that application right there. And so we were doing this, bringing this concept to every aspect of this device. Traditional devices have you interact with the application. This has you interact with the object. So if you decide you want to call somebody versus Facebook them, you have all those applications associated with that individual that you can participate with them. So we've really centralized everything we're doing in Migo around the user. And so that's the key aspects that we're uh, bringing today. In addition, it's multitasking. And uh, Renee and Anna talked a lot about the power of the Intel processor. Because of that power, because this Migo is built on a true multitasking operating environment, the true multitasking is built right into this device. And so we have, uh, I believe we have some of these here in the room. We encourage you to play with these, get a good sense of what we're bringing. It's hard to see the colors. Oh. It's really dark on them. It's dark on this thing? Yeah. All right, you want to hold this up? They can see it in the back of them, too. So those of you in the back there that couldn't see it, now you really can, but this is the, uh, this is the, the panel view. That so this is a very unique concept, and we think this is going to be how the users interact with their devices, and you can see how this concept is going to be brought forward in handsets, IP, infotainment, uh, all aspects of where Migo runs, as Renee described. Migo runs across a broad set of platforms, so the same user concept will be instrumented across all those segments, giving you a consistent interaction with all your uh, infotainment needs. So this is a very, very clever way of bringing that to, to all those segments. Okay. So with that, I think we'll turn it back over to Renee. Thank you, Doug. And there's uh, there's.